actors, it's Wendy Lane Wright, the Hollywood talent manager in Los Angeles, California, answering questions from my incredible and amazing YouTube subscribers. Hello, YouTube family. I love you guys, and I'm enjoying answering questions and trying on my jewelry at the same time. So today's question is going to be, this is a good question actually. They all are actually, let me look at it. What should you write in a cover letter that won't make you sound like a green newbie? Some of you are going, what's a green newbie? You, if you don't know what a green newbie is. So a green newbie, a newbie is a new newcomer. Someone brand spanking new. They might not have even ever been on set before. They certainly haven't taken very many acting classes. And green means lack of experience, lack of experience. And so when you send, oh, and I forgot to tell you, this necklace is pearls. This is a three strand pearl, uh, pearl necklace. I, it's, it's beautiful. It's like a, it's like a, I don't know what kind of stuff. It's like copper, coral, brown. It's like brown and shimmery. And I don't know, but like, look at this necklace. I mean, this So the question of how not to sound green in a cover letter. You sound green immediately as soon as you start talking about the dream you have as an actor. Listen, I know you have a dream. Agents and managers know you have a dream, but we are business people. So it's like going to a bank to, to, um, for a job interview and talking about your dream. I've always dreamed of being a bank teller, you know, um, since I was a kid. Uh, I've just wanted it with all my heart and I, I just love bank telling. And, you know, if I could just get a chance, if someone would just please give me a chance to be a bank teller, I, like nobody talks like that in a professional interview. So because, and you shouldn't talk like that in an acting, res in an interview a cover letter, to an agent or manage, manager either, but here's the problem. Because acting is a profession of the heart and it's a profession of deep passion and actors sacrifice everything to follow this dream. When you write a cover letter, a lot of times new actors want people to know that's how important it is to them. Like That's how important it is. But we don't make decisions about actors we sign based on that conversation. As important as that is to you, that is not what fuels our decisions. Our decisions are determined completely by how much training have you had? What headshots are you providing me to use to submit you with? And what acting clips are you giving me to submit to casting? That's it. I know you want to be an actor. I got it. You all want to, you all have a dream. We all have dreams. I got it. What are we going to really make happen? Can I literally sign you today and start sending your headshots and acting clips to casting tomorrow? That's what we're looking for in a cover letter. So the cover letter would say, hi, my name is Wendy Elaine Wright. I play a social worker, a lawyer, a PTA mom, um, nurse, cop, characters that are really fiery and, you know, very energetic and passionate, loud and gregarious with a compassionate and authentic, honest essence. I'm training at Amy Linden Studios. Attached are 10 headshots that match my types and acting clips that match those types as well. And then I give them the link to Actors Access, and a link which should have my headshots and my clips. I also give them a link to each clip on YouTube and I label it nurse, mother, teacher, lawyer, whatever. And I say, I would love to meet with you if you think I could be a fit on your roster. Thank you for your consideration. Have a wonderful day. That's simple. 
Don't need the story. Don't want to hear a story. I need the proof that you can act and the materials that I can submit you with. Anything else is a pipe dream by a newbie who doesn't understand the business. Just telling you like it is straight up, because that's what I do. Straight up honesty, okay? So your best bet for success in this business is to get the best training you possibly can and train your ass off so that you're so good that we can't say no. That when we watch your clip, we're like, oh my God, that actor. And it doesn't mean you're everybody's taste. You know, I've said the story before. My dad thinks Mariah Carey sings like a yo-yo. And same with Anita Baker. And he hates Barbara Streisand. He thinks she's too harsh on the ear. Three of the most beloved singers of all time. Everybody isn't going to like them. People are not all going to like you. Everybody isn't going to like your acting. Everybody isn't going to want you in their series, but your fans will. The casting directors that really like you are going to keep bringing you in over and over and over again. And the managers and the agents that really get you are going to want to sign you and work with you. But first, you have to understand this business and get yourself. You have to know what kind of roles you play the best. What is your emotional range? Like how crazy can you be or angry can you be or loving can you be or sexy can you be? What, where, where are your boundaries? You know that by taking acting classes that push you past your comfort zone. The things you see on TV are hard to do. They're hard to do. And you need training to do them. So if you're serious about acting and you're training, your resume will show that. Your cover letter will be a professional conversation about I am serious about acting. And you don't say it, you show it by having all of your materials. And that's how you stand out to agents and managers. And that's how you make your cover letter not look like a green newbie. Now, let's see. How long should your contract be and how can you get out of a contract and how much do reps get paid? Great question. I will answer that in the next video.